Hello YouTube fam, welcome to my channel. My name is Teray. If you are new here, welcome. Join the fam. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you don't ever miss an upload from me, as well as leave me a comment because I would love to hear from you. If you are returning, hey girl, welcome back. So glad that you are here. So listen, I am preparing, my family and I are preparing to hit the road to go to version two conference we are super excited about it so come along on this journey with me i am packing um i am getting things together swapping out suitcases the whole nine so come with me on this journey for those of you who don't know what the version two conference is i am a covenant partner with transformation church in tulsa oklahoma with pastor mike todd um, and the whole Transformation Nation crew. Okay, so we have our version two conference. It's the first conference that we've had in three years. We had the version one conference back in 2019. And then of course, we all got hit with the pandemic. So everything has just been on pause, but we are super excited to be back in the building, to be back at the place of faith and to be gathered together with Transformation Nation from around the world, literally around the world. So I'm super excited about being there. Um, it has been a journey up until this point. I have the privilege of being able to participate in the choir. So I'm super excited about that. So hopefully I'll be able to take you guys behind the scenes and give you guys a little bit of insight into what's going on, um, with the whole transformation church version two. We'll see. So come along this journey with me. I hope you enjoy. trying to decide what it is that I'm going to take. I don't want to overpack. Um, but let me just be like real honest right now. I really don't feel like packing, but I have no choice because we have to get on the road late, late, late tonight, early, early tomorrow morning because um, I have an early call time in the morning. So um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not... I'm, I'm just not excited about packing right now. <laughs> and the reason why I'm not excited about packing is because I've been packing and unpacking for like the past month. Um, so it has been, yeah, it has been a situation. And now somebody is calling me. It's my house. So I'm back. So yeah, I've been packing and unpacking for the past um, month going back and forth between home and Tulsa and it has just been um it has been a wonderful experience don't get me wrong I'm not complaining about it at all I'm not complaining it's just a little tedious things that you know that you don't like to do and packing and unpacking is just one of those things that I don't like to do um but I am getting it done I'm trying to focus I got Princeton and Carrington's things all done those are my two youngest children I've gotten all of their things packed or all of their clothes rather packed um, in the bags. So they're packed. And then I have to pack, um, I have to decide what I'm bringing. And it's kind of tricky just for the simple fact that um, the first night, the first night there's an outfit that's gonna be provided for us. And then 
the second the second day I have to pack something for the second day and I also have to have extra clothes for the first day even though I'm not wearing those clothes all day it, it's just you know it's just a lot of moving pieces that I have to make sure that I put everything together and that I don't overpack but that I have enough and that my outfits make sense I don't know about nobody else but I have packed and gotten to my destination and be like what was I thinking when I put these things together so anyway I have to lay everything out make sure that it all makes sense make sure that I'm not just packing the most randomness of stuff um, but I actually have outfits to wear I have lounge wear because I'm not going to be at the arena all day um, the entire time but you know yeah it's just a situation y'all so y'all stretch your hands towards the screen y'all pray for me um, but I'm gonna get this done and um, I gotta get it done today I want to get it done as early as possible because I don't want to spend my whole day doing this it is 9 53 right now I should be able to be done in one hour if I focus and really get it done so I'm gonna stop talking to y'all and I'm gonna go ahead and just focus so I can get this done yeah. that's what she's gonna do she's gonna focus she's gonna get it lifesaver for me I ordered a bunch of these like shoe boxes off of Amazon a while ago and I put all of my um, toiletries in this that way if it spills or whatever it's safe and secure in the plastic and it's not um, getting on any of my clothes or anything like that so like all of my body wash and in shower conditioner I leave in there I put in there de deodorant and toothpaste and all of that good stuff so anything that's like liquid I keep inside here in the in in this and I can check this bag um, <clears throat> I can check it and I don't have to worry about um, like I said I don't have to worry about it spilling on anything so I use these for that um, and if it's like just like a really quick trip or whatever, I have some small containers that I'll just transfer things into and I'll take those. But because we're going to be gone for so many days, I didn't want to take a chance and not have enough. So, um, yeah. So I'm bringing all of my big toiletry, face wash, body wash, lotion, and shower conditioner, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, feminine wash, all of that is in here. All right, fam, so I'm back, and it is now 1 o'clock, and she's not done packing yet. I should have been done. I could have been done in an hour, but I stopped, <laughs> and I had to leave the house for a little bit, and so now I'm just preparing my iron so I can get ready to iron my outfits for my outfit selections for this week weekend, and... Then I should be done. So let's just get into it. Let's get into it.
got my jumpsuit for um, the version 2 conference. This is the volunteer pass. I haven't got my wristband just yet, but as soon as I do, I will take you with me. So I'm in here. We got, we are wearing these like tie-dye sweatsuits for the first night. It's super, super cute. Um, super excited about it. I'm going to try to get a full length shot. Let me see. Let me set you up. I don't think y'all going to be able to see it. Nope. You're not going to be able to tell. You can't tell because it's too dark, but I'll try to find a spot and show you guys. But yeah, so we're here at the theater. Um, pretty exciting. Um, I'm very excited about today. I thought this was so cute. The now showing. getting ready to go out for um, our first presentation for B2 Conference. Super excited. Got a lot of emotions that I'm feeling right now, but super excited. So, check it out. practicing trying to finish up rehearsal and then we're gonna be out so um, I'll show you guys a part of conference once I get to my seat um, I can't show you anything on the stage of course because I'll be on the stage but I'll show you guys afterwards particular passage of scripture by Shifters say. 
The Lord said, I've caused for you to shift in all parts of society and culture. And the Lord said, I brought you here to launch you from the place of intimacy. Not that it be a one-time experience, but I give you keys to access a new reality in me. So in the culture, they shall do great exports. And I will bring glory to my name through my sons and my daughters. I brought you here to fill your cup so that your cup could run over. It's time to overflow. So the Lord says, from this gathering, I am raising up some of the greatest culture shifters this generation has seen. And I have not brought you to this place for just the conference, but I have brought you here to commission you. For this is the hour, said the Lord, that I will raise you up, but I will seek you out. For I've been looking for people that will be laid down lovers for me. And that would come into the place of intimacy. And the Lord says, as you connect with me heart to heart, I've got something I want to say to you. I've got something I want to release to you. Would you lift your hands before him right now? This is a commissioning for the Lord is placing his hand upon you. And I heard the Lord say to tell you, I anoint your head with oil. I anoint your head with oil. And from the oil that I place upon your head, this will be the time to arise and reign in the places I called you to rule in. For you will not operate as those that are low, and you will not operate as those that have no authority, but you will operate as those who are full of my power, full of my glory, full of my authority. So this day the Lord says, I commission you to go. I commission you to go. Carry the oil, carry the oil, carry the oil, and do what I have told you to do. And I say to you today, I will cause for prosperity to be upon your head. You will not fall. You will not falter. You will not end. But you will go into all that I have given you to do. This is your time to run into my purpose. Says the Spirit. Come on and give God praise right there.